Ruby Crew want to be here, turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram at MonaXBang. So, you guys, today I'm back with a new video. Now, I did not know. Y'all know I am a... Y'all seen the title. Y'all know how much I love the Style Factor Edge Booster line. If you guys do not know, it's one of my favorite gels to use because y'all know I have short natural hair. And it's easy for me to get my hair up with. Absolutely love it. So y'all know they had all of the ones that were like colored, um, the different colors. Well, they're not color in the inside. It's literally just clear in the inside. But it has the this is the pineapple scent. And this is pretty much the one I've been using since this came out. I did have the pink one. I forgot what scent that was. This particular scent is my favorite. But I did not know, I was at the beauty supply store today, and I did not know that they have a natural black one. Like, did y'all know that? Or is this new and I'm just, like, late? Or is it old and I just didn't know? I don't know. Um, I'm probably late. But it's the same thing, but this one is black. So I was like, mm, okay. I want to try this. It's in a natural black color. It says it gives, um, it's still the stronghold. It has a whole power of five. It has the same, pretty much the same instructions on it. So let's bust this baby open so we can get a look at how it's looking. It has the same little spoon, little thingy that I never use, but I do like that if, you know, that's what you're into. And it is definitely black. They had a brown one too, but I got the black. I don't know. So this is it, you guys. I wanted to try this out because I wanted to see if it's different. I also want to try it out because a lot of you guys say that the original one flakes in your head. So I wanted to try it out to see if this one would flake. So if you guys want me to do a side-by-side -side comparison, I will do that in another video. Today I'm not going to do that, but I will compare them side-by-side -side on my hand so we can so we can see if they're similar or different. So I'm going to go in with the, the pineapple scent. Now, you know, this is the regular one. This one is clear. It doesn't have any color to it, any pigment. And then this is the black one. Okay, so can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Okay, so this is the pineapple scent and this is the black one clearly, obviously, because it's pigmented. So y'all know how this, if you don't know, it is a thicker gel. It is on the thicker side. So let me see if the black one is thicker. Now, the black one is thick, but it does feel a little bit more watery. That's the vibe that I'm getting from it. It does feel a little bit more watery than the traditional one. So this should be interesting. It's a little bit more looser. It's not as thick. So I am starting off on hair that was previously braided down for my wigs. And I just took my braids out. As you guys can see, my hair is <gasps> growing back. And I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Y'all don't understand. I'm so happy. So, I'm not going to... Should I spray some water on my hair? I barely don't even have any water in here to begin with. So, I'm going to spray a little bit on my head. Not too much because I want my hair to stay elongated. Because, you know, it is short. And I'm trying to get it all up into a ponytail. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm excited to test this out. I did not know this was available. I didn't even know this was a thing. Y'all know I'm going to go in with a generous amount due to the fact that I have short hair. And you have to use a lot of product to get short hair up. Yeah, it doesn't. it's not as thick as the clear one. It's not as thick. It's a lot looser. I'm just tripped out at how dark it is i've never you know what this look like y'all know the style factor um the style factor what am i trying to say hideout that's what this looks like so now i'm kind of like second guessing i should have got brown the brown one maybe oh i should have probably got the brown one because the hair that i got i got a number two should have got one B. I didn't know this was going to be so dark. It's like they put the pigment in it. Oh, man. I might have to go get some new hair tomorrow. Because the hair might be, might not match. Maybe it will. I don't know. Y'all, it's like actually making my hair black. Like, what? I have to see what this whole talking about, though. Look at my hands. I didn't literally know. Because they had a brown one. 
And I was just like, okay, I'm going to get the black one. Like, you know, not even thinking at how dark. Wow, it literally made my hair dark. So I'm trying to gather my hair into a little teeny pony. Little teeny pony. Y'all, I'm sorry, but I'm a little nervous about this. Because <laughs> it's not really holding. How the clear one... Oh my gosh. It's not really holding how the clear one do. Like the clear one, when I brush it up, it's like holding. Y'all, this dyes your hair temporarily. Wow. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Y'all, I've never had a gel bring out this much definition in my hair. It Look at my hair. <laughs> it's so curly. Like, I don't know if it's because my hair is growing in different. Like, I've been noticing lately. That my hair is a lot different. Like my hair is a lot more textured this time around. Me growing it out, I don't know. Oh my gosh, it says hide out on it. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that this is the hide out gel. Oh my gosh, y'all. It says it on it. Hide out gel. That's why it's black. Duh, Mona, duh. I didn't have to use too much of it. Sheesh, I done already used. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta see it through. I gotta see it through. Gotta see it through, my boy. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really not holding my hair up, so. See, if I had had the clear one, I'm gonna have to use some of the clear to help my hair, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to. Let me go wash my hands, I'll be right back. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to use some of the black though, because, I mean, some of the clear one, because this is not holding my hair. So it's, look at my head. It's not giving strong hold, like the clear one. So I'm gonna have to put this on the perimeter or else my hair is not gonna stay up. because reading is fundamental see why reading is fundamental i'm just here i'm just seeing it black just thinking it was just some this the color i didn't literally think it was gonna be like the hideout oh it literally says Cause see, when I saw it at the store, I'm just reading Edge Booster Stronghold Style and Gel Natural Black. You turn it around to the side, and it says Hide Out. Okay. The regular one does not say that because this is regular gel. Y'all, I'm too out. This is the Hide Out Pomade, and y'all know I do use this from time to time here on my channel, and this is what it looks like. Y'all, I literally cannot believe that I totally overlooked it. Like, I don't even know how I overlooked it. I'm gonna let my hair set overnight and I will come back in the morning and we're gonna figure it out. It's the next morning. Well, it's really not even morning. I'm not even gonna cap like that. It's the next day, okay? So this is what it's giving. It's definitely giving hard, okay? It's giving molded. Okay? It's molded child, okay? Period. And it's definitely dark, darker than my natural hair color. So. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and lay these edges on down. Look at my brush. Completely dirty. Anywho, so I'm going to brush my edges out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the regular Style Factor Edge Booster Pomade. And then if I have to go back in with the um, hideout, because obviously we use the hideout gel. Um, if I have to go back in with it, I will... Y'all 
y'all know, obviously, when I bought this initially, I did not know it was gonna, the gel was going to be black. Obviously, because I found out here with y'all. So, I had bought the um, Shake and Go Shortcut Series Q Twirl Curl. I had got it in a number two because that's my normal color that I like to buy. So, I had to go back to the store this morning and I bought 1B because, obviously, my hair looks a lot darker. And I'm trying to, you know, trying to match as much as I can. So, I went back and got the 1B, okay? It's like a little quick weave hair. Or you can make wigs out of this hair and stuff like that. But this hair is be really good for ponytail. Like, I like this little synthetic track hair. Yes, I do. Just pin it and start wrapping. guys my thoughts and opinions on it so as you guys saw in the video when I was applying the gel to my hair initially it wasn't feeling it wasn't really giving me hold at first like it was kind of giving me a hard time like slicking my hair up like with the regular one right off the back like my hair instantly like goes up and it doesn't give me a hard time to get my hair up but because this one's a little bit thicker this one's a little bit looser so it did give me some problems, but I'm not gonna lie y'all, it gave me really good definition. Like, I know my hair is kind of like changing because my hair is growing back from all the other stuff that it went through over the past year. But um, it really did define my curls. Y'all saw the curls was definitely popping. Now this gel is really high out. I mean, it is dark. My natural hair color is like a dark brown, like dark, dark brown, but it's not, as, it's not black. My hair is not black. And my hair is really, really dark. It really does match this hair. This hair is 1B. Um, it definitely is dark. Um, it says it does give a whole power of 5. Now, initially, when you're putting it on, it does not feel like it's going to give a whole power of 5. But it definitely does. My hair is hard. Y'all know around the top, I did have to use some of the regular kind to keep my hair up. But it did hold my hair. Maybe when my hair gets a little bit longer, I probably won't have that problem. But my hair is solid, you guys. It's not going to move. It's not going to budge. It's not going to come anywhere at all. Um, I definitely feel like this is great for people that have like fine hair or hair that is thinning because it will it will conceal that like you won't be able to tell like your hair looks thin or if you have like some thinner spots I feel like this will definitely like hide it also if you like your hair to be super dark and you're in between you know dyeing your hair and you haven't like dyed your roots or anything and you want to do a sleep bun or a puff or whatever the case may be I definitely feel like this will be good for you when I use this on a regular basis and because it's very messy with the application I'm not gonna lie like it is so messy I'm gonna have to I mean I wash my tools anyways but I'm definitely gonna have to wash my tools because this is messy like it is really really messy I'll update y'all in the comments because this video I don't know when it's gonna come out but I will update you guys on the flaking um initially I didn't have any flaking that is definitely a pro um for those of you that get flaking with the original kind this has not given me any flaking it's dark so I can't see how it will really show up so that is definitely a plus for those of you that worry about flaking on the back it says that 
it um darkens gray hair so if you have gray hair like i said if you haven't touched up your roots this is going to be great for you i wouldn't use it consistently but i definitely would use it again if i want my hair to look really really dark because sometimes you might want to switch it up um let me know in the comments if i should try the brown one maybe i'll test it out here but I definitely will say it is worth a shot if that is something that you're interested in. But if the original works for you, I will just continue to stick with the original. Obviously, this is going to be for people that have dark hair, not for people that have colored hair. Of course, if your hair is colored, you want to stick with the original one. But I do like the hideout line. I know I use the hideout pomade every now and again to make my hairline pop a little bit more. Um, and I did use a bit of it today, not too, too much. But it does hold, you guys, very pigmented. I will tell, say this. They actually did come out with a very pigmented gel. And it is not permanent. So that is nice. Um, if that's something that you're interested in. So yes, that's how I feel about the gel, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this review was helpful. And I will see you guys on my next one. <laughs> Bye.